guys welcome back to the channel prime time fun today we are going to be looking at my dad's coin collection part two um so please like share subscribe to me and so let's zoom right in to the video and so next we have the coin from just loose change we have different bags of coins from different places that we will look through later but first of all, we're going to take a look at some dollar coins. I have a really nice cameo, James Monroe, right there. You can tell it's a cameo by if it's extra shiny. As you can tell right there, it is extra shiny, probably worth maybe one or two or three dollars. Next, we have a couple Susan B. Anthony dollar coins. 1979 are those years. So let's just start going through this pile of change and tell you what it is. So we have this Bicentennial 1976 quarter. This very nice 1968 dime. We have a what looks like silver penny, a 1970 silver penny. Um, if it's not a silver penny, it looks really nice. See right there. It just letting you know what it is. Um, if you have any answers to what this 1970 penny might be, it looks like it's silver, but I don't know. So if any of you viewers watching have any answers, please let me know down in the comments and I will get to you soon and reply. So next we have a very old 1920 wheat penny right there. Next we have a 1974 penny Lincoln Memorial. And speaking of memorial, so we have just your standard memorial coin right here. So in 1993, there was sort of an error coin, which is called the floating roof and no FG. That means the FG initials right down there. You can barely see it. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus. Well, anyways right down near the steps you can see on the right side there is an FG um, and if that is not there in 1993 then it could be worth some money or another thing is you can tell is right here on the on the uh, roof if it is floating which you probably don't know what that means there you go um, so if there looks like there are no little supports under right here where it connects to the main building the roof then that could be another sign that it's worth a couple thousand dollars and that one is a 1973 we have a 1966 and another little bit of trivia knowledge um the lincoln scent came out in 1959 to 2013 or 2014 Somewhere right in there, they started doing the newer pennies, which are, are fairly nice, but I still would want to print wheat pennies, but let's get back into the video. Next, we have a very, very, very nice Wyoming uh, 2007 quarter. Nothing really special about that. It's just really shiny. Um, next, we have a 1969 penny Lincoln cent. Next, we have a very nice bicentennial quarter right there. We have a 1944 penny. One year off, man, guys. You probably don't know this, but the 1943 S copper penny. Uh, is worth so much money, millions of dollars, in fact, to get one of those. There were only five in existence or more, but I'll tell you the story. So they were, in 1943, supposed to 
make different pennies, I believe zinc pennies, and they went through and noticed they accidentally co did copper pennies. And so they only made a stack of 5 to 50, uh, and so they are very, very rare. To get one would be like heaven on earth, instant millionaire. So that is a little bit of trivia. Back to the video. We have a 1918 penny right there, which is a hundred and fifteen, you know, 105 years old. So we have next a coin that should not be in the stack because it is in the foreign coin. So I will put that in there. So next we have a 1980D coin. And I believe from either 1984 or 1983, all coins prior to that date were pure copper. Anything from then on was not copper. And we have our first Indian head of the day. 1901 Indian head scent. We have quite a few Indian heads. We just have to go through this and see if we can find them. Next we have a 1946 penny. We have 1955 penny. 1953 some of these pennies you can barely even see what they are um because they are very either eroded or they are very old so next we have a 1959 first year of the lincoln memorial we have a susan b anthony 1979 right there another susan b anthony 1979 we have a 1946 nickel, a Susan B. Anthony 1979. We have a 1967 quarter, a 1954 nickel, a 1966 penny. A 1946 nickel. We have a 1946 penny. A 1969 penny. A really nice 2019 dime. As you can see, really very nice. We have a 1993 right there a no fg guys so as we can tell this is a floating roof and no fg so that could be worth a couple thousand dollars depending on what the buyer wants to pay for it next we have um a 1971 penny um there were some pennies that we found at a local bank um they were reeded. They had a reeded edge. That's where they had like little teeth on them. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, we might come across one, but they had a little reeded edge where it looks like it had a little mark every uh, around the rim. So if you know anything about the reeded edge, please go down in the comments and let me know. Um, let's get back into the video. We have a very 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 either aired or um sa uh sanded down or whatever puerto rico coin right there as you can see that big error right in the middle next we have a not very pristine condition 1963 d penny we have a very nice 1976 bicentennial, a 1959 D penny, a 1967 penny, a 1972, a 19, oh, 272 is in the back, 1972 nickel, a 1941 nickel that could even be part silver. We have next a 1979 D. 
we have a very worn down 2017 Ozark Riverways, a 1957 Penny, a 1940 Wheat Cent, a very nice Bicentennial Quarter, a 1978 Penny, a 1976 Pristine Condition Quarter, Bicentennial, 19... 16 wheat penny we have next a silver coin a 1959 dime a 1976 bicentennial a 1978 penny a 1940 Maybe, I can't remember if it was 41 or 44 or maybe even 40, but that could be part silver. We have a 1947 nickel. We have a 1978 penny. A 1964 penny. A 1968 penny. A 1975 penny. A 1965 penny, a 1972 penny, a 1963 nickel, a 1972 penny, a 1969 very nice nickel, or penny, sorry. Uh, we have a dime right here, a 1965 dime, the first year that it was not made in silver. Well, very little silver. 1944 S copper penny right there. A one cent wheat penny. We're down to our top five. Well, not top five, but our last five. 1974 penny. Our 1969 penny. We have next a 1974 penny. A 1964 very nice D. And last but not least, the end of this video, 1926S Penny, right there. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please tune in for next video where we will be reviewing my foreign coin, my dad's foreign coins, which is right here. Some other really cool dollar coins and some very neat other coins including this little box of change right here, and some also some other cool dollar bills. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to me and The Goose Show. You know all about The Goose Show, the Gujitsu expert of his channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. Guys.